About 2,000 years ago, there was a fella by the name of Jesus. And he was a miracle worker. He did all kinds of stuff. He healed the sick. He fed people with inadequate amounts of food. He walked on water. He turned water into wine. He was truly the Son of God. I have some criticisms of these miracles, folks. These miracles don't seem that impressive to me. First of all, let's look at Jesus' dad. What did Jesus' dad do, according to the Old Testament? According to the Old Testament, Jesus' dad created the entire universe. He parted the seas, he flooded the earth, he destroyed entire armies. Such was his might. And what did his son do? A couple of parlor tricks in comparison. Water into wine versus creating the universe. If you create the universe and all your son does is turn water into wine, that's a big drop. That's like if you're the CEO of Pfizer and your son grows up to be the manager of a local McDonald's. Now, the only miracle that Jesus performed that is corroborated by all four Gospels is he fed 5,000 men and their families, so probably like 20,000 people here, assuming a four-person family unit. He fed them all with just five loaves and two fish. He had five loaves and two fish, and he fed 20,000 people. And what's his other big miracle? He turned water into wine. What the hell kind of miracles are these? If this guy was a superhero, he would be Caterer Man. Jesus went around and he healed sick people. He healed the blind. He healed lepers. He healed people who were paralyzed. He healed people with internal bleeding. He healed people with all sorts of ailments. And that's really impressive. But I have a question. If Jesus had all of the powers of God at his disposal, then why didn't he heal all sick people? Why didn't he just destroy all disease in the first place? It seems to me like if you have the power to heal all sick people, but you just selectively heal the ones that you happen to come across, that makes you kind of an asshole. Especially if you're the one who created those diseases to begin with. Now, if you're a Christian watching this video, I want to ask you this question. Let's say you never heard of Jesus. Jesus did not come 2,000 years ago. He came today. Jesus was walking the earth for the first time during our modern era. And he was going around doing all of these very same miracles. Would you believe him to be the Son of God? I don't think you would. He heals the sick just by laying hands on them. You know what? We got people who do that today. They're scam artists. They don't really heal anyone. But plenty of people still believe it. Which, by the way, doesn't exactly bode well for the uh, veracity of the whole Jesus healing stories that are 2,000 years old. Because if there are people who can believe that faith healers are working today even when their results are abysmal, then how accurate is some information from 2,000 years ago? Ask yourself that. So we already have people who are healing the sick today. We already have people who walk on water. They're called magicians. And let's say there was a guy who fed 20,000 people with only two burritos and three tacos. He might win Restaurant Tour of the Year, but he's not going to be hailed as the Messiah. Now what about turning water into wine? Well, you know, maybe that would impress some winos. And Jesus would amass a following of hobos that followed him around everywhere trying to bum free drinks off of him. But no one other than gullible idiots are going to think that that man is the Son of God. They're going to think he is an amazing magician and an amazing caterer, but they're not going to think of him as the Son of God. If Jesus is supposed to be the Son of God, then he should have been doing stuff like moving mountains, rearranging the stars in the sky, turning the sun blue, shit like that. I mean, I think the best evidence for the fact that Jesus was nothing special, if he even existed at all, is that even in those gullible-ass times when there was a messiah on every street corner, he still only had 12 followers. 12 people? I mean, there were more members of the Heaven's Gate cult 
Remember those crazy bastards who castrated themselves and all wore Nike shoes and then they killed themselves so that they could go meet with the UFO that was following some comet or something? There were more of them than there were apostles for Jesus. So how convincing could Jesus really have been? I mean, if the primitive bastards in his own time didn't fall for it, why do so many people fall for it today? Because it happened a long time ago, and it's been embellished, it's been exaggerated, and now now we really believe that he did all this stuff and it was all because he was connected to God. But even, even the embellished accounts of his miracles are pretty f***ing paltry compared to the stuff that you would expect from the creator of the entire universe. These miracles suck. They're pathetic. I mean, if you're going to follow Jesus, you might as well follow Penn and Teller because Jesus' miracles are about as impressive as their magic tricks.